Today, we're riding somewhere special. This centre is home to some of the UK's flowiest blue lines. But this mountain bike track is in a bit of an unusual location. We're here at Ashton Court in Bristol, and it's, well, a golf course. Yes, that's right. But don't worry, this unusual location is an amazing find for mountain bikers. It's home to some truly dreamy flowing single track called the Nova Trail. A hard pack, all weather surface, well designed, built and buttery smooth riding. What's not to like? Let's check it out. The trail starts straight into the action. A short, fun downhill section filled with plenty of berms, rollers and a small berm to bump transition. It's a great introduction of things to come. The whole trail is thrilling, from these early features all the way through to the fast end sections that has a couple of jumps sprinkled in. One of the best things about this trail is that there are plenty of hidden gaps and jumps all over the place. For example, this short section has some rollers that you can pump, or use some of them as mini doubles. After this exciting intro, you slowly make your way back up the gradual hill where you'll get another taste of that sweet flow trail action. This section starts off slowly meandering back down the hill. It has a few light turns just to get you going. The middle part starts getting a bit faster, with the berms and corners getting a bit more exciting. It even has a couple of optional rock drops thrown in for good measure. The bottom part of this section continues to get a bit faster and it's a twisting snake of a trail that winds its way through the trees. It really makes the most of the terrain that Ashton Court has to offer. The whole Nova Trail circuit is around 4 miles long and can take you somewhere around 45 minutes to complete. The trail is very involved so when you're riding you're pumping, when you're not pumping you're pedalling. So you'll need a good level of fitness and stamina to make the most of what's on offer here because what they're offering is a hell of a lot of fun. In certain places throughout the trail, you have the option of taking different lines. The blue path is the easier flow feature, and the red line usually have something a bit more technical, like this triple drop with an optional berm hop transition at the end. The further you go down this section, the faster it gets and the more interesting the trail becomes, with faster and tighter corners. At the bottom of the hill, and buzzing from the last section, you start a steep climb up a fire track. Making your way to the top of the hill, you have the option of carrying straight on with the blue trail or taking a detour to hit the red trail first. So let's take a look at the red trail. This section starts on a flatter gradient and winds its way through the woodland with plenty of small jumps and bumps. The trees in this section are pretty close together so watch those handlebars around some of the tighter corners. The GoPro effect doesn't pick up all the small bumps and features that are a constant presence on the Nova Trail. Throughout the red section you'll almost find yourself dancing on the bike to make the most of these features. Using the spread of the trees in creating a few lumps and bumps in the trail surface is a great way to make potential flat sections pretty interesting. The end of this section gets faster as you navigate the rock gardens and rocky drops. This bumpy section at the end provides a bit of a bone shaking for all you hardtail riders, but it provides a nice mix to the smoothness of the rest of the Nova Trail. Once you make it down the red, you climb back up the fire road to the start of the next blue section. Back at the Blue Trail, the next part offers some amazing flow with this fast and smooth snaking berm section.
Coming along the back nine of the trail, there are plenty more amazing features as it winds through the trees. It's trails like this that can really help novice riders improve their biking skills and get used to pumping the bike around corners and over bumps. For the advanced riders, there are plenty of gaps that you can find and challenges that you can set yourself. There are also a few progressive drops and a couple of jumps that we'll get to in the last section, so there's plenty here for all riders. Coming along this section is actually quite flat, but this doesn't mean that it's anywhere near boring. The whole thing is chock full of great flowing features, and it's in these features you can find hidden jumps and really learn how to challenge your own riding. With a few pedal strokes in between the pumps, you can carry your speed quite well throughout the whole section. There are so many features in this part of the trail that if you lose focus for a minute, you miss something. Because there are so many features and different ways to ride them, you're constantly looking for the best line choice. After navigating this close section with some tight berms, you quickly come across a small rock jump that gaps a section of the trail. With moderate speed out of the berm, a confident rider can hop this without a problem. This split in the trail gives you the option to hit these progressive rock drops. The more you hit, the bigger they get. Once you're down the drops, you have a straight section filled with a number of well-crafted, tight and flowing berms. This whole section has been redone recently, so it's super smooth and super flowy. This last section starts off with a few bumps that you can use to get some speed. Then you can use this speed to clear this relaxed step up jump feature. You keep your speed from this jump as you go into the last wooded section, which has a number of fast flowing berms in quick succession. They are well crafted and have pumps before them so you can maintain a good speed throughout the whole section. This trail is so much fun that you forget exactly where you're riding and that you're only a couple of minutes away from the centre of Bristol. The Nova Trail really is a piece of mountain bike artwork. It's great fun, easily accessible and has been designed with fun in mind. A truly enjoyable ride and I can't wait until next time. After you make it to the end, it's a five minute ride back up to the car park where you can treat yourself to a coffee before having another lap of the trails. There are toilets, bike hire and a bike wash station available. While you're up there, I recommend popping into Pedal Progression to congratulate them on some amazing trails. Did I mention that these trails are maintained by volunteers and donations? So, if you're looking to get involved in something like this, the guys at the bike shop are the people to talk to. I hope you enjoyed this video and it inspires you to get out and onto your bike. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.